Hey, welcome to this radio channel, and this is the Amateur Radio Band Plan, and this is where you will receive single sideband signals. So, for all of you that have been asking, where do I listen to single sideband signals? Pretty much everywhere in amateur radio bands. There's a little bit of the part of every band, basically, that has AM mode, but most of it is an upper sideband or lower sideband. So, I'll be posting the ARRL band plan for amateur radio on the description below this video. So, 160 meters. That's, uh, sorry. Let's just go to the 160 meters band plan here in real giant format. So, this is LSB, lower sideband. And this is the separation because there's different modes in amateur radio. CW is Morse code. Digital modes, that's anything from radio teletype, uh, BPSK31, um, and, and, you know, HF, uh, JT65, and so much. Then there's QRP. QRP means low power signals. Uh, single sideband and lower sideband in the 160 meter band from 1.8 to 2 megahertz or 1800 to 2000 on your receiver in kilohertz. Uh, SSTV, slow scan TV. Then after that, above that, you know what? There's all sorts of signals, most of them in lower sideband. 160 meters is hard to receive, lots of noise because it's very low and it's just above the medium wave band. 80 meters is a pretty active band. It's very local, so you'll hear amateur radio stations from very close to where you live, basically. Up to 100, 200, 300 kilometers away. This is the band plan up to, you know, uh, the first part of the band up to 3590 is uh, Morse code. Then you've got 3590 and, uh, or 3570 to 3600 uh, radio teletype data and so on which is basically digital modes then you'll have single sideband signals and lower sideband LSB for the rest of the band that's pretty much what you'll have 35 uh, 3875 3885 3880 AM frequencies this is 60 meter band is a new band, 5 megahertz channels. This is brand new. It hasn't been going on for a, a very long time. And it's a mixed uh, band. So basically, 100 watt peak to peak and uh, 533 0.5, 530, sorry, 5346.5, 5357.0. 5371.5 and 5403.5. These are basically the channels of 60 meter band. This is the only band where it's USB or upper sideband below 10 megahertz for amateur radio. Then you have 40 meters from 7000 to 7300. Um, below 7100, CW Morse code, uh, digital modes, and so on. Uh, then you have LSB, lower sideband, except for 7280 where there's AM signals that I hear quite often, by the way. 30 meters, 30 meters is 10100 to 10150. This is pretty much CW for Morse code, RTTY, and packet. Uh, there's no voice on this frequency. 20 meters, one of the greatest bands, 14 megahertz. 14000 to 14350. This is a great band. Listen to this. Upper side band from bottom to top. 17 meters, which is a work band. A work band is a band that has been um, basically put aside in a conference. And this band is uh, really a nice little band if you want to listen to signals in upper sideband 18100 to 18168 great band 
15 meters, another one of my favorite bands, especially in winter, 2100 to 2135450. Upper side band always, and this has great, great amateur radio station. Another work band, special little band put aside, uh, 24890 to 24990. Upper side band always. And finally, 10 meters. This is one of the bands that works miracles, but you know what? It's very dependent on what happens on the uh, solar flux with the sun and so on. So uh, this is a band that's sometimes closed, but you know what? When it's open, it's a miracle band. 28,000 to 29,700. Uh, below 29,000, you know, 28,000 to 29,000. Upper side band. 29,000 and up uh, FM mode. There's all sorts of different modes. It's an amazing little band if you want to listen to it. So I'll post the band plan here in the description below the video. This is a great, great informational uh, website, ARRL, which is the American Radio Relay League. And it's just fantastic if you want to learn more about shortwave and amateur radio. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, let us know. We'll try to answer if we can. Thank you for following us and hope to see you soon on this channel.